Hey guys, Lazy Man here. Hey, we're back on the skull crusher. Anyway, our goal today is to actually prep the case to accommodate our 360 rad. And my plan is, is we'll have these three fans up on top here. We want to do a push-pull configuration. We'll have those three fans up there. We'll take our 360 rad, and of course that'll mount on the inside. And that ought to look pretty good. What we're going to do with the top though, is once we've got those mounted, we'll take this shroud here, and that'll cover up the three fans. And then these um, fan grills, these are the Skull fan grills from MN PC Tech. These will actually mount on the top like that. So that ought to look pretty good. Anyway, what I want to do, let me remove this and let me get closer for you. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and cut out the mesh here and as you can see I already have it marked out and my plan is to you know take out three separate sections leave this center piece you know a little more stability for the top of the case and I know this may be a little overkill um, this mesh I think restricts or allows 60 to 70 percent flow so it does have a restriction you know between 30 and 40 percent so I think by removing that it's going to allow better airflow with our push-pull configuration. So wait, let me zoom in real quick. I want to show you guys something. Now, as you can see, that far corner over there, I did mark it and I, and I took the mark back off because it actually is easy to see with it not being marked. And what I wanted to point out, and again, this is again being, you know, maybe a little critical but you can see the hole that the mounting hole for the the fans um, the perforated steel isn't centered with that hole you know it's kind of offset and I thought about actually coming up and cutting a 45 and then coming back across and having all my corners be 45s but the problem with that is is if I decide to run U channel on there uh, with a 45 cut you know U channel is, you know it's, it doesn't work very well so what I've decided to do, you know, I could use a, a circle, but I didn't want, I wanted to stay far enough away from the hole as possible, but still give me a curvature there. And again, this being recessed, you know, I could have taken a coffee lid or you know, something very large to give me a wide radius, but it's, you know, it wouldn't have sat flat with the, uh, the recess there. So what I did is, if I can show you guys, is I just took a piece of copper that I have and I get, went ahead and made that oblong. And then that worked out perfectly is I can line that up with the, you know, the two holes that are already existing and get me a nice curvature there. So we'll go ahead and mark this one here. And then just to get the straight lines, I just took a tri-square, took the, the uh, ruler out of it, and then connected the, the lines there. The attack of the silver and black is back on the Hawk. This is Greg Papa at 104.1 The Hawk. The station for classic rock is also your home for Oakland Raiders football. All right, so there we have it. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. The way I'm going to do it is you can use a Dremel and cut that out. It would take a little bit of time. It would be tough to get around the corners. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a skill saw. All right, ladies and man, you want to use a skill saw on this? All right, here we go. We're going to cut that with this little freaking skill saw. <laughs> it's a jigsaw, my friend. It's a jigsaw. All right, I just thought I'd make a little fun of myself. I don't know why I keep calling that jigsaw a skill saw. And I've been doing a lot of woodwork lately, and uh, I'm just, I guess I'm used to thinking of skill saws. Anyway, back to the video. And then what I'm going to do is, again, because this is recessed, and, you know, as we're cutting this outside lines, it will be fine. But once we start getting in here, as you can see, this thing is going to want to, it's going to want to tip and it's going to want to rock. So, again, we just use a spacer. I took a piece of, this is 316 
thick aluminum and we'll just use that and that's the same height as the outside of the case here and that'll keep it nice and flat and that way this one side here will rest on it while I'm cutting these lines so anyway uh, I am not going to cut this on camera you know I've got one shot at it I don't want to mess it up I really want to keep these here so with the tripod and the camera um, you know me trying to get around the case you know bump it into the tripod um, it's not worth it so anyway let me go ahead and get those cut out and we'll just uh, take a look at it when I'm done all right guys there it is turned out pretty good um, let's move those and we'll take a closer look at it So anyway, it looks a little rough now, but once I go ahead and clean that up, I mean, it should, it should look really good. So anyway, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do, is go ahead and get this all cleaned up, then we'll, uh, we'll take a look at it, we'll mount the radiator, you know, just mock it up for now with the fans, we have to put the shroud on, we'll drill the holes for the shroud, and uh, we'll see what the final product looks like. Alright, I'll get back with you in a moment. All right, what do you guys think about that? Yeah, it turned out pretty good. Um, let me go ahead and zoom in and we'll get a closer look. All right, guys, just let me get a little close there. So you can see it turned out pretty good. You know, there's some areas that may not be exactly perfect. But for the most part, it turned out pretty nice. You know, and a good rule of thumb is whenever you're cutting something you want to cut proud of your line and that means that you you know whatever your waist piece is the piece that you're going to be throwing out you want to cut on that side of the line and then you can file it down you can grind it down you know whatever back you know to the line and you can end up with really nice square cuts like this so anyway as you can see I went ahead and drilled the holes for the shroud and we'll zoom back out also if you look back here I had to drill a hole here this is so when we put the three fans up here uh, we have somewhere to drop the cables through so anyway I'm going to go ahead and get this mocked up and we'll take a look at the final product alright guys I went ahead and got it mocked up and as you can see I went ahead and dropped in the bottom rad just so you guys can See how it's going to look with both of them in there. Anyway, with these red fans, uh, it's going to look pretty nice. However, I'm not going to be able to show you guys, you know, with them lit up tonight. Um, you guys will just have to wait till, till I actually uh, do the final installation and, you know, I get power to it. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead and drop this down, and we'll take a look at the top. Alright guys, that's what it looks like from the top. And we'll pan around so you guys can see it from the side, but that's going to look pretty nice. Especially when they're lit up and then you're, you're able to see the uh, fan grill here. But as you can see, I just I went ahead and just mocked up one fan grill. Um, and actually I've only put in enough screws just to hold this down you know I'm gonna have to tear it all back apart you know so I can make additional mods to the case but the reason why I didn't put any other covers on if you guys can see if I line that up with the holes they overlap right there so we're gonna have to uh, square those off a little bit so all these will fit Another thing that uh, I want to point out is if we look at the hardware that that holds the uh, the shroud on, and let me zoom in a minute. All right, the hardware that comes with them are these right here. 
but see they they come in silver and I didn't I know that's not focusing very well but I didn't think the silver would look good so I went ahead and sprayed them with um, some red, red anodized paint which actually matches the fan really well and then we drop those in there and then it comes with a Phillips screw head that you're supposed to use and I decided to use these hex screws so I think that's gonna look pretty good you know it's just little touches like that that I think the client is gonna appreciate but see I mean they, it looks just like the fan anyway guys uh, I think that'll cover it for this mod here and uh, we got a couple more that I'll be doing hopefully I'll have time to to actually do videos on them and uh, until next time this is lazy man hey guys one last thing here is I went ahead and made the bracket to resupport the uh, you know this ledge up here and I just wanted to show you guys so I don't get any comments asking if I was gonna make that bracket but what I did is I just took a piece of aluminum and then bent it uh, so it actually there's all it was a hole already here as there is one over here and then I brought it out so it didn't conflict with the uh, the rad down here at the bottom and then mounted it down here on the bottom with the screw so I, it looks pretty good I'm pretty happy with that all right guys this is lazy man and I almost forgot and don't you guys forget it's a modern world. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. So anyway, I'm not happy with the way my performance is, so uh, we're gonna have to redo that take. Piece of shit, motherfucker. All right, guys, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, we're going. But the uh, client is going with the uh, Emmernex, Emmernex. Energy, energy next. It, it, it going with the uh, these red fans. That's what he's going with. He's going with red fans. You're not going to be able to see it with the lights off or the the fans lit up. Um, it's you'll do guys. You're just gonna, you guys. You guys have to wait because I don't want to show you guys. All right, guys. We went and got. We did.